What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield Series 11. And ladies and gentlemen, in today's video, we're going to be showcasing an Eternity theme that also features Life Orb Mimikyu and Intimidate Scrafty. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that bigger subscribe button. Seriously, you guys are amazing. Thank you for all the support that has been going out across the channel. We are so close to 10,000 subscribers. So if you're not subscribed to this channel yet, what are you doing? Consider subscribing. It really does go a long way. But like I said, we're sitting here today with an Eternatus, Mimikyu, and Scrafty team. And this is a nice little change of pace for us, considering in the past couple videos, we've been using some very, very strong high ranked teams on the channel. So I was just like, yo, let me slow it down for you guys, bring you guys a really fun little bit of off meta team that you guys can get some wins with on the rank ladder. But getting started with this squad, we got Eternatus in that top left corner. And this Pokemon is really good in this Dynamax format, considering it has his stab dragon move, which is Dynamax Cannon. And he's like, the only Pokemon that can learn it, so he really thrives with that one. Pressure has his ability. Black Sludge has items so we can recover HP at the end of every single turn. Then, like I said, we have Dynamax Cannon, and then Sludge Bomb for Stab and Flamethrower for coverage. And then, obviously, Protect for our final move. Right next to him is Celestial, a great little Ultra Beast for this format, considering it is a Steel and Flying type, and both his stab moves are phenomenal when Dynamax. Steel moves will give you the defense boost, and Flying moves will give you the uh, speed boost. I think those are like the two best Dynamax moves, really. The Steel and the uh, Flying, just great all around, great at bulking the team up, and great at getting speed control as well. We got Beast Boost ability, Leftovers has this item, and then we got Heavy Slam, Fly, Protect, and Lychee to set up that constant stream of HP back to Celestial. That's what I love about this Pokemon, especially when you rock Leftovers with it. You can set up Leech Seeds, you're just getting Leftovers on top of Leech Seeds just constantly every single turn. It just works out so well, stalling out battles and taking out Pokemon one at a time. Middle left is going to be Rotom P, and all the Rotoms are back in business, baby. We've been seeing all the Rotoms in this series, and I'm loving it. I think the Rotoms are really cool. They're not too OP, and they're fun to use at the same time. This thing has Levitate ability, Citrus Berry as his item, and then it's got Overheat and Thunderbolt, both for stab, nasty plot to set up, and protect for its last and final move. Right next to him is Gastron, and I really do like Gastron in this series, considering Kyogre is a big threat and Rain is such a big threat. So having Storm Drain Gastron on the team really kind of calms that down, and it really uh, provides like a little coverage for it. Extra Belt as its item, it has Earth Power, Ice Beam, Recover, and Protect for its moveset. Really good moveset, really good Pokemon all around, but it's mainly there for that Storm Drain ability. Bottom left is going to be a heavy hitter for the squad, and that is going to be Mimikyu. Usually you see these things rocking just like Mental Herb and just trying to prevent Trick Room or set up a Trick Room, but nah, this one's here with the Life Orb ready to do some big damage. It's got Disguise ability, and then its moveset is Play Rough, Phantom Force, Shadow Sneak for first turn priority, then Trick Room if we want to counter Trick Room, or set it up for our own team. Final Pokemon on the squad is Scrafty, and he's really the reason I picked his team. I was just like, yo, I haven't used Scrafty in forever. I think I used him like once or twice in the past, but he's very cool and very fun to use all around. It also has Intimidate, which is a phenomenal ability, so why not pull him out here and use him on the squad? He's also rocking the Safety Goggles as his item, and then his moveset is Strain Punch, Foul Play, Fake Out for Flinches, and Protect for its final move. Guys, if you want to try out the team for yourself, you guys already know the deal. Rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with this Eternatus, Life Orb, Mimikyu, and Scrafty team. Before we even hop into our first battle, make sure you guys are following my Twitch page. Name is right below my face cam and link is down in the description below. And the reason I'm saying that is because when Pokemon BDSP comes out, your boy is going to be doing like six hour live streams on that, grinding the game out, completing it fully, doing the Pokedex, all that good stuff. So make sure you guys are following over there and those notifications are turned on. We will get into more details after I go through this team and pick out my squad because we only have 50 seconds left. But we're hopping into our first battle, going up against this Zacian team over here. Pretty strong Zacian team alongside with Porygon 2. Urshifu, Rillaboom, Regilecki, and Incineroar. So it's decently heavy meta. Kind of got to get after it. Kind of got to bring the Scrappy. You know, that Intimidate will work wonders. So I definitely want to rock out with that. So who should I go into here? Who should I lead? I mean, he does have that Regilecki for speed control. I might just go Gashadon. I don't like Gashadon. I kind of do like Gashadon. Hmm. Who do I want to go? Definitely got to bring Scrappy and someone. Definitely got to bring this Mimikyu and he turn like this. Uh, bu -bu -bum. I don't want to bring you. I might actually end up leading you. Could lead you alongside with uh, almost how a Mimikyu could be pretty strong here. I see we going with them too. Bring Scrafty and Eternatus. I'm with it. I'm winning all day. Let's rock out with it. Let's try to grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. But let's get into a little bit more details. When Pokemon BDSP releases Thursday night or Friday morning, it's basically Friday morning because it's going to be 12 a.m. But it's kind of like Thursday night. You guys know what I'm talking about. Your boy is going to be up. He's going to be recording parts one and two for the YouTube channel for the next day. So we're going to be grinding that out. And then when I wake up, 
I'm gonna be starting a live stream where I just grind out the game, try to beat as much as I can in one day, and then same thing for the next day, we're just gonna be doing it all weekend long, just grinding that game out on the Twitch page. So make sure you guys are followed over there, and make sure you guys are subscribed to this channel as well, considering we're gonna be doing guides, playthroughs, all that good stuff on this channel. But uh, he leads the Porygon too, alongside with the Regilecki. I might just protect you and go into... Hmm. We go into a Phantom Force, but I think just Play Rough's gonna be our call. I think Play Rough is just going to be our call here. If we get rid of you, I don't mind going into some airstreams and all that. Could really work well for us. But here goes my Protect. I really don't just want to drop in like a huge old Thunderbolt here. It'd be awful. And that is a wonderful little turn there. That's a wonderful little turn. And I think this thing is going to pop a trick in. And I think it's going to pop a trick in. And Mimic you. Mimic you. Chill on him. Chill on him, Mims. Yo, Mims doing some work here. He's going to end up popping a Thunderbolt, which I'm totally cool with. That's going to go into you. And I think we just Dynamax Slash Steel here. Potentially. Potentially be Dynamax Slash Steel here. Imagine if I would have set up a Leech Seed. Actually, it would have been awful because the Protect really did save us there. The Volt Switch would have did a massive amount of damage and he would have been able to swap. That's great for us. That's lovely. I could swap the Mimikyu. Really depends who he goes into. Really depends who he goes into. He's going to end up swapping into. I'm thinking it's going to be Incineroar. I really do think it's going to be Incineroar. Let's see. Let me see. Okay, I think we just Dynamax Slash Steel here and we kind of get after it. You get a defense boost, could start getting speed boost. What do I want to do? What is the Jeans player? I could swap into Scrappy, which could be nice. I could seed up. I might do I might just drop a leech seed here. I think I'm just gonna drop a leech seed and I might trick him. So we can take speed. He's gonna take me out though. He's gonna take me out with a blade, so I might just hard swap and keep Mimikyu. And just be able to have fake out next turn gonna work one and then force him to protect next turn so let's see how this one plays let's see how this one plays out here Dude, if i can get off this lead sheet oh, oh my lord that could be lovely nice big old intimidate gonna fly through here and i think a thunderbolt from the porygon 2 might fly out here let's see a huge play Ooh, he's gonna dynamax porygon he's gonna dynamax porygon here i think he's gonna go into a blades and then into a thunderbolt into my celestial celestial yo please tell me you can eat this up so we can waste out some turns if this is the case. If this is the case. We can waste out some big old turns here. So let's see. Let's see a huge play. He's going to end up behemoth blading. Yep, like I saw. Slot coming all day. That's got to be going into my Scrafty slot. Scrafty, you should leave that up. He's, he's even. He's not plus one anymore. Easy eats, baby. All day. So we eat that up all day. This thing is going to go into a uh, a max lightning, if I had to guess. Right, a max lightning. Do drop proceeds. And this thing is going to drop the max item. You should be able to eat this up. Come on. Celestia all day. All day, baby. All day. So we got the seeds out here. We are ripping. Um, I'm going to say the Zacian protects. I'm going to say the Zacian protects. And we're just going to go into a protect on the our Celestia. And then go into like a Jelaine punch. I'm going to say the Zacian protects. I just think there's no need to go into a big out here, right? I just think there's no need. I mean, if Zacian does protect, we could hard swap in the moon queue. And then hard swap again. And just have that Scrafty in the back end. Because Scrafty could be really good in this back end. We still have a return test, which is great. Hmm. But we're definitely protecting you. And I'm going to say he protects. I'm honestly going to say he protects. And we're just going to go into a Drain Punch here. Get some HP back. Guys, they seem protect or swap. One of those things. He's got to be doing one of those things. Yep, there's a swap. Wonderful. We'll take that all day. And we're just going to go into a Drain Punch over here. Love a little Drain Punch. And we should be able to outspeed him, so that's going to be wonderful. We're going to be able to get HP back and just start wasting out these Dynamax turns. And then at this point, I think we just swap Scrafty, right? And go into that Lightning. Oh, over on the Scrafty. We to protect. Our play. And we do eat, which is great. We do eat. We're really just wasting these turns right here. Drain Punch going to fly through here. Dude, he soaks that up all day. That's an easy soak for him. We get back a little bit of HP. Uh, Leftover is just going to trigger, and our Leech Seeds are gone. And I think this dude quit. <laughs> I think this dude quit. He was probably getting getting annoyed. He's probably just like, dude, my Dynamax turns ain't doing anything. What is going on here? But yo, we take those wins all day, stalling out, playing it slow, just outplaying our opponent. I'm being a hundred percent serious when I say this. We just hopped to our second battle. I was trying to record a second battle for you guys, 
and the guy beat up, he used a, he had a beat up Terrakian team, and he used beat up on my Celestial, it must have been a misclick instead of his Terrakion, and he just quit the battle instantly, so I'm not even going to be showcasing for you guys that, I want to get into some real battles here, and get you guys a full one, but yeah, our last guy did quit, we ended up getting that win, so we're sitting 1-0 and here in this video but we're going up against a very strong Kyogre team that also has a metagross combo weakness policy metagross i should say which is definitely very very scary i might pop a trick room and one trick room could be good trick room could be good he does have fake out users which is a little rough i could go on my scrap here he does have clear body he does have a decent amount of pokemon gotta bring storm drain gash down here but i really do feel like he's gonna go into the what's called combo the metagross and uh, tornado's combo so i might go here and here and kind of just roll from there and Storm Drain Gaston, and then final Pokemon. I'm really liking Eternatus, but I also want Rotom Heat. I feel like Rotom Heat could be wonderful. Let's go, could be good here as well. The Celestial. I want a lot of these Pokemon. I really do want a lot of these Pokemon, but I am going to end up bringing Eternatus. We're going to be locking it down from here. And we are going to be locking it down from here. Let's get after it. Let's hop into our second battle. Look to go back to back here for you guys. But yo, that first battle was kind of funny. It was kind of funny. Once you realize that we really had control of that battle after we took it out, or did not take out, kind of controlled the uh, Zacian with the Intimidate. And then Porygon 2 couldn't KO my Scrafty with two turns. So we were we were just sitting in the driver's seat. We still had our Dynamax and all four Pokemon. He was just like, nah, yo, I'm done playing G. I'm out of here. Turns off the switch and gives us the win. But he goes Regilecki and Kyber. Oh, that's a little tough. That's a little tough. What do we think is going to happen? Do we have a fake out raid roll? We could take out, uh... Who are we going to fake out here? That's the real question. Is he going to double protect? That's so tough. I don't know who he's going to protect here. Who are you going to protect? I said we just fake out onto, uh... I could try off a trick room. That I am going to do. I'm going to pop a trick room here. I have to fake out one person. I'm going to fake out Kyogre. I feel like we let the E-Web come through here, right? Yeah, let's pop a trick room. We'll let the E-Web come through here if he's going to go for it. I'm just going to fake out onto Kyogre. Hopefully he doesn't Dynamax Kyogre. If he Dynamax Kyogre, that could be tough. That could be tough news. Let's just see what he does here. Let's see this dude's play. We're going to utilize our Trick Room here considering this is like our only our only shot at like speed control. We don't have like an E-Web Pokemon. He's going to Volt Switch out, which is fine. On Scrappy, which is cool. But we don't have like an E-Web. We don't have a Tailwind. Trick Room is really our only speed option. We are going to utilize here. We are going to pop it. We are going to get rolling with it. Knowing that he has Red in the back. We're just going to swap like that. Bring out Incineroar. And at this point, I just swap Scrappy, right? At this point, we just swap Scrafty. And we kind of get going from there. Into Storm Drake Gashinov. Here goes this. And now we roll. Now we are rolling. All right, let's get after it. Let's get after it. I kind of want to see Mimikyu's speed. I want to see Mimikyu's speed here. That'd be decent. 116 ain't bad. 78, 39, and 190. So we turned this is definitely back end, but money's really fast. Um, but at this point, I think I just dropped a nice big old player off. Maybe go into probably you and then just hard swap into. Hmm. Just hard swap into Gash on here. This expert belt. Yes, let's do it. Because I might Dynamax uh, Gash on after this. And this trick room could be really good, especially if he goes for a water move here. This could be really, really good for us. Please go for a water move. If he goes for a water move, we are sitting in a great spot here. Parting shot's going to come out here. He's going to go into my Mimikyu, which, is, which I'm cool with. And who's he going to go into from here? Come on, yo, show me a water move popping out here. Show me a lovely little water move popping out. Come on, do it. Do it. Because if I get the special defense boost, we're going to be thriving in this trick room with Gastron. I'll just die to max him, and we'll get running after this one. Especially in the rain. You already set the rain for me. Even though we have no water moves, we have ice and ground. But still. But still, we'll do it. I'll do it. Let's see what this dude's gonna roll out with. He's gonna pop in with the uh, with the Metagross here. We go into a water move, please. We go into our player off. We're gonna tee away onto you. And come on, show it to me. Show me the water move. Origin Pulse. Let's go. Let's go. Let's Dynamax. Let's Dynamax. And I can just freely go into ground moves here because ground is super effective to that Metagross. It is super effective to the Incineroar. It's super effective to that Regilecki. So I'm really liking where we're sitting here. I could have Phantom Force here as well, but I think I'm just going to play rough. We could see a Protect come out from him. But again, we have to go into this Max Quake. We have to go into this Max Quake here. Right, what's he going to do? Swap? We could read a Max Guard, but I feel like we're thriving after this. I feel like we are thriving. Let's see. Yo, great read by me. Getting in that Gastron. And I said it in the uh, team preview. I was just like, yo, Gastron's really here for the Storm Drain. And going up against these Kyogre teams. Grabbing a drink real quick. Just letting you guys know. Just letting you guys know. I have a little scratch in my throat. 
So let me hydrate up. Let me hydrate up for this. For this vicious battle that is about to ensue. Let's get it. Let's get it, dude. I'm so hyped for Diamond and Pearl remakes. I've been, dude, like, I'm not even kidding with you guys. I go to bed, and before I go to bed, my mind's just running around thinking of teams for Diamond and Pearl. Because I still have not decided. I'm between Empoleon and Torterra. But then the teams, I have so many options. So I'm legit just going to sit there and write down a bunch of team options for myself in this upcoming uh, day. Probably today. This game comes out very, very soon. It is the 16th when I'm recording this. This video will be out on the 17th. Game comes out on the 19th. Then I'm going to write down my teams and I'm going to finalize what Pokemon I want to use. I'm stuck between so many. I really don't want to tell you guys because I kind of want to be a surprise. I want to be a surprise because I'm not gonna, just going to be using a bunch of generic Pokemon. I might, I might have a few on the team, but most of them are really sick. Most of them are really cool. But well, we're going to drop this Max Quake here. Get him out of here, yo. GG's, yo. That's going to be game. That's going to be game. What are you going to go into? A Thunder? You can't Thunder my Gastrodon. We're ground. He Dynamaxes Metagross. Get him out my face, yo. It's, it's over. It's over. The hard beat, yo. Gastrodon can be an absolute powerhouse. Especially like that. Especially like... Yo, come on! What you mean? What you mean? This is the third battle in a row I had people cancel on me. Third battle in a row. We got the one on recording. We got the second, which I did not even showcase. And this one we're showcasing. We are showcasing this one because we just outplayed them and made this dude quit. Yo, this team making people quit left and right. You gotta love it. The people I'm playing up against today just don't want you guys to see a full battle. They don't want you guys to see it. Everybody's quitting on me. Nobody wants to face off with jeans. Hopefully we can have ourselves a great third and final battle. Even if we lose, I just want to showcase a full battle. I just want to get you guys a great video today. I feel like it's going to be shorter than normal. So hopefully you guys still enjoyed because the two battles were like cut in half. The first battle was more so half. The other one was just like a couple turns. We just outplayed him with the gas run. Dynamax and just took out his Metagross in one shot. But I'm not even going to lie. His, uh, his Kyogre was choice scarfed. His Kai Ogre was Choice Scarf, so once he went into that Origin Pulse, he was forced to go into another one because after I stopped recording that uh, that game, he ended up going into an Origin Pulse because, you know, the game shows off that turn after it's canceled. But that is how it went down. That is how it went down. I guess he was trying to take out my uh, Gastron with the Metagross, but it just did not work. It just did not work out. But third and final battle here, I just realized we have 30 seconds to pick. Going up against his Assassin team. Let's get after it. Let's get after it. Uh... Definitely gotta bring Scrafty in here because Scrafty's an absolute beast. I definitely want Mimikyu here as well. And I think we are going to lead Mimikyu yet again. And we gotta get Eternatus in this battle. So let's just lead Eternatus. Let's just lead him here. Let's just lead the man. So we're getting an Eternatus. We'll have him as our third. And then final Pokemon. It's gotta be either you or you. Who wants to come in here? Do you want Celeste? Do we want Celeste Steel or Rotom Heat? Hmm. Rotom Heat's nice, but. I don't want Celeste Steel here. Let's rock out with Celeste Steel. Let's try to grab ourselves a win here in battle number three. Not just a win. Perfect record. Now, if this guy quits, this video is going to be going. If this guy quits this battle, this video is going to be absolutely going. Because I never had two people back to back quit on me. Never had two. I actually, it's actually three. Like I said, we played our second battle, and he, the guy ended up beating up on the wrong Pokemon. And he kind of just quit from there, knowing that it was over. But uh, he sends Zacian alongside with Grimmy Poo. I'm kind of with it. I'm kind of with it. I'm kind of with it. Hmm. Let me play this one. Let me play this one. I think we have to maybe just swap. I might trick him here. And protect. Trick him and then just protect you. That's exactly what I'm going to do. He might set up a screen and I think he might go into... There's no way he doubles down in my mood, right? I don't think he doubles down in my Mimikyu. I think he sees Eternatus as a big threat. We can kind of just get after it that way. I might have to swap Eternatus next turn. We shall see. We shall see because, you know, always posing a decent threat on them. That Zacian's posing a, posing a decent threat on them. So if we get off this Trick Room, we can be doing good here. We can definitely be doing good. And Eternatus is rather uh, fast, so like Trick Room will benefit him. So swapping him and having him in the back end is probably more beneficial to us. But he's going to set up a late screen, and hopefully he's going after Eternatus. That's a must, right? He must be going after Eternatus. Yep, Behemoth played into Eternatus. Blocking up. We blocking up. Let's set up this Trick Room here. Popping it out. The Trick Room's out and about. We could go into a nice, lovely little play rough. He play rough. Bleh, can't speak. But, uh, that might be our plan. We could just drop here. Go through this and swap in the Scrappy if we really want to. We're swapping to you. The play. Scrappy is probably more beneficial for us. Then we do get that fake out, but swapping into... Hmm. But swapping into this thing, we could potentially start setting up lead seeds. 
Yeah, we're gonna swap into you, and then if we wanna swap into Scrafty, we can. Let's just see a Seuss play. We might be able to take out this Grimstrong in one shot with this Life Orb shot. It'll be big. It'll be big. If I can get a Celestial here in a, at a good time and set up some seeds and then potentially Dynamax, it'll be really sitting in the driver's seat. Hopefully, he's going for another Behemoth Blade because that'll just be easy soak ups. He's going to end up protecting Zassy. You know, I'm loving that turn. That's a free swap for us. That's a free swap for us. He's going to end up going for a Spirit Break here. And it's going to give us a special attack drop, which we do not like. Which we do not like. But I might end up Dynamaxing a Mimic here. I end up Dynamax in the Mimic here. We are going to go play with player off. That's an easy KO. Mimic is ripping. He's ripping. Give me that crit. Give me that crit, baby. So we get that out here. I think I'm going to leech seed up onto the uh, Zacian here. Not even Dynamax Celestial. Here's our lovely little leftovers here. So leech seed is probably going to pop. I might Dynamax Mimic here. Really depends who he brings out here. I could swap into the Scrappy, which could be nice. He's going to end up bringing in Rotom Heat. Oh, do I Dynamax him? I don't think I Dynamax him. I think I might just Phantom Force and go after you and just waste out turns here. Set up a lead seed. I'm really liking this. But I'm thinking he might double down in a Mimikyu here. Maybe go for a Thunderbolt and then into a uh, into a Behemoth Blade. Try to get rid of him. That's the reason I don't want to Dynamax him. Because Zacian can really just tap him up. Ooh, he gets off this lovely little man spot, which we're not a fan of. We're not a fan of. We're not one bit. Not one bit. Phantom Force is going to drop here. Now, what's he going for here? You going after Mimikyu? He is indeed. Yeah, that's lovely. We dodge and packs. Okay, so... I really want a Dynamax. I really do want a Dynamax. He is plotting up. We don't like. He is plotting up. Definitely scary. Definitely scary here. Uh, what's the play? I think I fly and I waste out a Dynamax turn. I think I fly and waste out a Dynamax turn here. He's gonna Dynamax, right? I think he Dynamaxes and goes for a Flare or like a Lightning into Celestial. So if we can dodge one turn, that can really, really be good for us. Really, really be good for us. And we can start getting off some damage with this Phantom Force. And kind of just go from there. Let's see his Zeus play. Dude, he nasty fly. That's such a that's such a tough thing. But yo, good battle. I'm glad this one's playing out. I'm glad this one's playing out. We definitely gotta get Eternatus out here again. That showcase him a little bit more. He's gonna end up with Jalan's Assassin, which I'm totally cool with. He withdraws you. Show me the Dynamax. That shot is going to fly. And is he sending it? He is sending it. So watch this, yo. Look at this read, dude. Look at this nice little read here. Trick Room, we're going to go first here. We're going to fly. We're going to be able to dodge a huge turn. And then Celestial is going to go down the next turn. Celestial is definitely going to go down here next turn. And then he's going to be able to take off the Sky Room on his Okay. Right, um, this, is pretty, this is a solid battle right now. Solid battle. Fly's coming out here. We're making some nice reads. We're making some nice reads. Making some good calls here. And go for your lightning flare, whatever you want to do. We're dodging. We dodging it. Which is wonderful. Phantom Force is going to fly. Built. Slowly chipping away some damage. We still have our disguise, which is just beautiful. Which is beautiful. And now I want to see how many turns left in Trick Room. We have one. So, what do we think the play is here? Drop a play rough? Drop a play rough? Yeah, that's fine. Celestial is going to drop out here. I'm fine with it. That's cool. Gastron might protect, but I think Gastron is going to take off my disguise. I think Gastron is going to take off my disguise. Just one plays out here. He's going to yawn on me. Son of a biscuit. He's still over disguise, but he's going to yawn. And I might hard swap at that point. My hard swap. Fly's going to come out here before. Get off a little bit of damage. And here comes the flare or the lightning. Yep, there's the flare. Later, Celestial. But Celestial, thank you so much for popping out here. Doing some work. Doing some work. So, play rough flies here. I could... I could pose that threat and swap. But I could go into... Hmm. I think how I should play this one. I could Dynamax. I could Dynamax Mimikyu. In all honesty, I could Dynamax Mimikyu here. And set up a uh and set up a terrain. Hmm. I think that might be play. We still have this guys. I might set up bring out Eternatus. Just so we, uh, he doesn't see that fake out and protect. But I'm going to set up that terrain just so that yawn doesn't affect us, right? Yeah, I'm kind of with that. I'm kind of with that. I'm with that all day. Let's do that. We're going to Dynamax here. going to protect. We do have Dynamax Cannon. Sick. Look at that, yo. Deals twice damage on Pokemon who's Dynamax. But I'm going to wait. I'm going to protect and try to soak up the shot. 
I should be doing out speed. Why would I go into a Dynamax can? What am I doing? What am I doing? I guess I'll protect this turn. That's fine. That is fine. I feel like we're thriving here. I really do think we're thriving in this battle. I should have Dynamax Cannon though. Considering, again, we outspeed. We outspeed him all day. That was stupid of me. So if we lose this battle, it's on me. It's on me. But I'm really liking where we're sitting. I am really liking where we're sitting. Especially if we can get off this, uh, this lovely little Starfall. Because we're going to have our disguise. We still have our disguise. He hasn't touched my minions yet. He hasn't touched my minions. But I'm so stupid for not going into Dynamax Cannon. Because Dynamax Cannon, I think, would have just taken him out. Double damage. Stab. It's just all day. It's just all day big old damage, man. That was the time. That was the time to showcase Dynamax. The move animation's sick. The move animation's really good. So let's see how this one plays out here. Gonna end up poking the shield here. Open up our block. And here goes our starfall. So we're gonna say, hey, yo, we're not going to sleep. We're not doing it. And we're gonna say, hey, yo, Gasha, get on. What you mean? What you mean? What you mean? That thing really, really, really just got that out there. He's gonna go into a flare. We're gonna be able to soak that up, dude. That is super wet. That is super wet. That thing really eats up like that. Dawn's gonna come out here. We blocking it. We set up the terrain. Yo, we can't go to sleep. Yo, that's a huge shot. We still have our disguise, bro. We still have our disguise. We still have our disguise. But yo, that's super whack. That that thing really survived on one. I don't like that one bit. The miss keeps us from falling asleep. That's a huge turn for us. And now we're sitting in the driver's seat. Now we're sitting in the driver's seat. Um, in this case, I'm just going to go for a Phantasm here. Actually, we are going to go into him. But I do think he's going to protect. I, hon I honestly think he's going to protect. And I think we're just going to drop a Dynamax Cannon over on this thing. Oh, he does not protect. He does not protect. All right, that's fine. We go into the side saying, Can this still KO? I think it might be able to. Come on, do him dirty here. Do him dirty here. No, it doesn't. Dude, we should have Dynamax Cannon into the what's it called? We should have Dynamax Cannon into him when he was Dynamax, man. Double damage would have been huge. Would have been huge. But uh, I wonder what he's going for here. So this is Zassy, and I might hard swap next turn. And just to get off that intimidate and see how that one plays out. And we still have this. Oh, there goes my disguise. Son of a biscuit. Nice right, guys is gone. We're going to have to protect the uh What's the call here? Do we protect? We definitely have to protect because we know that the uh Because we know that the uh Zassian's gonna go for a blade. We know that he's gonna go for a blade. Now the real question is do I go for a flamethrower over and onto him? Do I just double down into him? I might just double down into him. But I think we just guard. Try to double down into him. Because if he... Yeah, we're, we're, we're going to go with a gut here. He's got to be going into a bleed. Now, if he outreads my guard here, that could be super, super rough for us. Because then he pretty much wins the game. That's why I was thinking of double down into him. Either way, we can get damage off. I probably should have just sent the move on to the, uh, with the Mimikyu. Because if he reads my guard and takes out my Eternatus here, we're, we're in trouble. We are in trouble. We're not sitting good if that happens. We know Mimikyu outspeeds the Rotom, which is great. Here's our guard. We'll I'm go into the blade right on Mimikyu. But we outspeed him regardless. That's huge. So, okay, if Eternatus goes down, Eternatus goes down. But that's some that's some nice damage over there. That's some nice lovely damage. Give me the burn, too. No burn. He does read the protect. Thank God we outsped. Thank God we outsped. Gonna be some big damage here. Gonna start chipping away on me. And we eat anyway. We eat regardless, and we know we outspeed. That's big turn. Thunderbolt's gonna fly through here. We block it. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. We're sitting in a nice little spot here. A nice, lovely little spot. Light screen wears off. Light screen wears off. And I totally forgot he set up a light screen. That's why he soaked up a good amount of damage. Uh, I, was, I, was, I was wondering why we didn't do more. But uh, I'm just gonna Phantom Force here. Actually, I just play rough. I think player off will kill, but Phantom Force is going to be your smart play. We're going to Phantom Force smart play. Could finish this thing off with a, with a Dynamax Cannon if I really want to. But I really do think Zassian protects, but it's all good. It's all good. We're going to drop this flamethrower here. Yep, he does protect. Dude, I should have just Dynamax Cannon, bro. <laughs> should have just sent it over there. Uh, hopefully he's going after Mimikyu. That would be awesome. But we still have Scrafty in the back, which I do like Scrafty. I do indeed like Scrafty. So 
What's called is going to go down here regardless. Rotom, he is dead regardless. And this thing's going to go for a Thunderbolt. And can we eat that? Mm. 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 We don't like that. We don't like that one bit. It's fine. We have Scramp. We have the one and only Scramps in the back. Yo, dude, this team is rolling, man. This team's good. I'm loving this team. Let's bring you out here. Fan of Force, 100% going to kill Rotom. Now we just, do we, do we flinch this Ashian? Yeah, we flinch this Ashian and we get our turn back. Intimidate's gonna come here. Zassian cannot protect. Rotom Heat's gonna die because even if he protects, Phantom Force just slaps on through it. I'm gonna fake out here, make him flinch, and just, just reset the turns. We thrive. We are thriving. Your boy has been dominating today's video. Yo, I'm kinda hoping this dude just turns off his console. Cause that'd be hilarious. That'd be all three battles he's, uh, we make opponents quit. But yo, what are the chances, yo? We we crush people so much that two people turn off their consoles. It's awesome. Two out of three, 66%. It's a good number. Flinch pops out here. Phantom Force is going to fly here. Later, Rotom. Get on out of my game. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. But we really did outplay today. We've just been playing phenomenal. We played really, really well today. I really like. It comes down to this. Uh, okay, I think we just Drain Punch and Shadow Sneak, right? He's going to go after Mimikyu. But I'd love to get this first turn. He's definitely going to go after Mimikyu. I think I just Drain Punch. There's two Shadow Sneaks. Should be able to do the job. I'd rather Mimikyu get off a shot before uh, he goes down to this Behemoth Blade. Lovely. Lovely. And it's going to be GG's. It's going to be GG's. Behemoth Blade flies through here. Into my Mimikyu. Sorry, Mims, you're dead. And you're not going to be able to kill Scrap if you're hitting him. Yep, Mimikyu's dead. It's all good. We got off that Shadow Sneak. And now this Drain Punch with the Scrafty to finish out the video. And to get the perfect record. You gotta love it. Scrafty coming in with a big fist. You are hey. sending it. Give me an HP. Takes out Zassian. It is confirmed that Scrafty is 10 times better than Zassian. Just proved it right there for you guys. But hey, perfect record for you guys. Made two guys quit and grab yourselves 3 0 for today. When I started recording with this team, I was like, okay, if I can at least go 2 and 1 or maybe 1 and 2, I'll be happy with this squad. But I did not think that I was going to make two people rage quit and grab ourselves a perfect record in the process. What else do you guys want? What else do you guys want? Hopefully you guys did enjoy the content even though we had the first two battles short due to people disconnecting or quitting, whatever you guys want to call it. But that third final battle was really, really good. And I feel like we got to show off this team fully all around in all three battles. We got the turn out in the third and final battle. We got to show off Storm Drink Gastrodon in that second battle. And a little bit of Celestial too with the uh, Leech Seed, which was really, really good for us. But all around, I think this team is amazing. We got that Mimikyu to deal big damage alongside with that Eternatus to really control the fight and get off some big KOs. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody. Thank you.